sit back. I'm a weirdo. Ask anyone. I sit on my own in when I'm eating. Not because I think I'm better than anybody. I just sit back and I just see, well, what are the kids doing? What are the 80s doing? Uh, okay, he's, leave, he's left his plate there. He's expecting somebody else to pick it up. Just little yeah, things no, like that no, really no. irritate me because I just think, well, you wouldn't do it at home. And if they are doing it at home, then your mum and dad need to be going, oh, yeah. sort that out. And it's, it's, I think, to answer your question, I just think that there's, I've never, never thought like this until, until I had both my kids, really. And my son's getting to the age now where everywhere he goes, he's Troy Dean, his son. Yeah. So now I'm thinking, right, he has, a, I've got a responsibility to him, but he also has an even bigger pressure now of course. to be all the time on job because if someone goes at him and goes, oh, you know, look at him, he just got a pair of boots and he just threw them away just because he split them. Like my kid broke his iPad. I tell him this story. He broke his iPad two years ago. It took him two years to get another iPad just because he broke it because he was playing Angry, Angry Birds and lost. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's got my mentality that he needs to win, but because he broke it because he lost, I was like, well, you're not, not having one? Yeah. Until you realise the value of money. Of course. You're not having one? And I stopped with two years. I might be a bit harsh as a dad. There's a lot of people Slightly going harsh, on. But, <laughs> no, but, but I'm just trying to set the, the rules from early that this is what we can change.